Hey friends, in this short video I want to show you how I transplant my tropical fruit trees and some tricks how I grow them. So this is my soil container. Um, I'm using usually a lot of perlite, sphagnum moss because it's uh, not sphagnum moss, peat moss because it's exit some clay and um, a lot of worm castings. This soil is old soil which I collected from pots where the plant died. So I'm reusing my soil. And first off I want to show you a Plinia seedling. This one is like one and a half years old. It's a Plinia cauliflora from the Otto Anderson collection. Pretty big fruiting plant. And first of all the pots which I'm using they drain pretty good. This is the first pot which the plant got because I'm growing my plant my seedlings in a really special way. If you are interested in that please I will connect the video in the video's description so you can see my method. So let's take it out and yeah. So this brown stuff are roots, so the plant is totally rooted in in the pot, so it's so I have to transplant it. The next size I'm using is this one. Also, really good drainage. You should always look on pots with really good drainage if you are growing them inside the house. Look, it's the double size, so pretty good for to transplant. So I'm filling up the pot, plant in and I'm refilling it with soil. It's important to press to press the soil on the sides so the roots have a pretty good contact to the new soil and the plant can, can grow into the new space. So this one I will show you update next year before I'm giving them outside and you will see it nearly will double in size. So the plant name back and yeah that's the first plant. If I would start over with this hobby and yeah so as I said look which plants you want to grow good choices are if you want to grow them in pots Eugenias, Plinias, some Anonas like Anona squamosa, Anona cherimoya and maybe a, da a dwarf mango maybe I don't have mangoes here because it's pretty hard to grow them in, in Austria and in pots. I have a jackfruit that's fruiting in pot, but I don't have a mango. But yeah, these two species or maybe Murciarias, Psidiums, so Guayavas and Campomanesias also. You can grow them also in pots pretty good. They grow healthy, they will fruit for you. I had fruiting Eugenias, I had fruiting Plinias, I sold them because I needed a little bit more space but yeah so they can fruit for sure in pots Psidiums will fruit in pots so yeah if you want to grow tropical fruits and you have to grow them in pots like I have so I would go for this five to six species and yeah I would use my germinating method and then step them up from pot to pot. Don't let them too long in one size because they will root in pretty fast and then 
they struggle with healthy growth so the leaf will be smaller they aren't that healthy so yeah I would go for sure to step them up regularly use good soil as I said peat moss perlite um, warm castings and if you want you can mix in some lava rock crushed lava rock it's also very good it holds moisture the bacteria can live in the lava rock so it gives them a good environment and don't water them too often if they if you have them inside the house because the roots will rot if you have them outside you can water them every two days especially in the summertime you Plinius can stay like the whole summer in water. I have them like in one inch of water the whole time and they are totally fine. So yeah, some tips from me. If you like them, please give me a thumb up, share my video and subscribe to my channel so the, keep, the channel keeps growing. Thanks for watching. Bye friends.